<laughs> A B. <laughs> nah, man. Look. So recently, Adrian Broner came out and said that he'll fight Amir Khan at the end of the month, right? Then Amir Khan comes back and says, "Shit, I want Adrian Broner next." The two have been going back and forth on Twitter and Instagram. The last comment I seen was Amir Khan basically telling Adrian Broner to go ahead and make that shit happen, right? First off, I want to start off by congratulating Adrian Broner. Let me give him a round of applause. And the reason being is because against Carlos, I mean, uh, excuse me, John Molina, I saw something I didn't think I would ever see. He moved. This motherfucker moved. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He moved. Like, he, he was in front of John Molina, you know, basically in the, the first half of the fight. Uh, when John Molina was gun shy, you know what I'm saying? But when Molina realized he needed to apply more pressure, he moved. He wasn't stagnant. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, man. And he said... uh in the in the post fight that he's basically taking shit more seriously now you know what i'm saying he also said while in the in the earlier video i said i can't stand adrian broder's uh antics but it's good for boxing he embodies the 90s babies you know what i'm saying motherfuckers that talk a lot of shit you know what i'm saying just don't have the they don't look to be motherfuckers you should take seriously, but they run their mouth a lot. And then in his case, they get beat up. <laughs> he got beat up by Marcos Maidana. I mean, the way he talks, you need to be going undefeated, bro. You know what I'm saying? But he goes in there and gets beat the fuck up by Marcos Maidana. And then goes back to talking shit. That's this new generation shit. That's how a lot of the motherfuckers act. I see these little niggas every day. You know what I'm saying? When I go to the gym... You know, I'm getting into it with little cats all the fucking time, man. Because this is exactly how they act, right? But for boxing, it's perfect. Because he really will fight any fucking body. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he said in the post fight. They asked him, you know, who do you want next? He said, look, the NBC cut me off. I was trying to say who I'll fight. Basically, basically saying he'll fight any fucking body. Then they re-asked the question. He said, look, obviously you don't listen to what I said. I said, whoever's in the fucking contract, I'm signing it. And he's, he's, I believe him. I didn't, I was going to do a video on this uh, a while ago, but sometime last month, he came out and said that he would fight Danny Garcia, even though they're really good friends because it's business. And I'm 100%. I, I agree that I agree with that hundred percent. I told my homeboy my homeboy that watches fights with me, you know, um we're talking about, you know, Carl Frotch uh ducking motherfuckers and not just Carl Frotch, but you know, Adonis Stevenson and you know Sergey Kovalev stepping up to, you know, make Adonis Stevenson look like a little bitch that he is. You know what I'm saying? And just ducking in general, man, and and I told him, I said, dog, if we was in the same division, you got the belt. We fighting, bro. And he was like, word. You know what I'm saying? I agree. You know what I'm saying? This, this motherfucker got the belt. I want to be champion. I'm going to fight him. Mind you, he's like a brother to me, but I'm going to knock this motherfucker out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then afterwards, we go back to being brothers. It's a business, man. You know what I'm saying? You in this for the money. You in this, you know, to be the best that you can be i can't stand motherfuckers that are like oh i, I won't fight him because he's my best friend or you know like uh when they asked uh, lucas matisse if, if he would ever fight juan uh uh not juan carlos um uh abregu if he would ever fight him or if he would fight uh damn the other argentinian uh marcos Medana. They were all like, no, 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 we wouldn't fight each other. You know, that's Rancis Barthelemy. If he would ever, you know, fight another Cuban, he was like, no, no, no. Fuck that shit, man. If them motherfuckers are in your division and they got the belt, it don't matter. Fight them. It's a sport. You know what I'm saying? You both are a part of the sport. Fight them. And then after you fucking win or lose, y'all be brothers again. I don't see nothing wrong with that shit. That's why I like Adrian Broner's antics within boxing. Because he's true to that shit. Amir Khan's the same way. Now, recently, he's been ducking the shit out of Kell Brook. But I think the only reason why he's doing it 
is because he wants more money. He feels like he should be getting the big fights. And Mayweather played with him long enough to basically create the illusion that he is worthy of big fights. I mean, blame Mayweather for Amir Khan's fucking ego trip right now. You know what I'm saying? If Mayweather would have never entertained fighting this motherfucker in the, in the first place, then Amir Khan wouldn't be looking for big fights the way he is. You know what I mean? But he's also been um, looking at fighting, you know, Tim Bradley, uh, Juan Marquez. I like the Amir Khan Tim Bradley fight. I like Amir Khan Keith Thurman. I like Amir Khan Robert Guerrero. I like Amir Khan Marcos Maidana, who recently has came out saying that he's been trying to get the Amir Khan fight. But Amir Khan's been refusing. I like Amir Khan versus Kel Brook. I like Amir Khan versus Miguel Cotto. I can fucking keep going. Amir Khan right now is a hot commodity. You know what I'm saying? Whether you like him or not. He's somebody that he matches up well with a lot of motherfuckers from 140 to 154. You know what I'm saying? If this fight gets made, it's another great fight. Now, mind you, I would like to ask Adrian Broner to pump his brakes a little bit. Talking about he'll be ready at the end of the month. No, you won't. <laughs> Mind you, Amir Khan is chinny as fuck, but he's reinvented himself. You know what I'm saying? Devin Alexander was a formidable opponent. I think I, I called Devin Alexander an elite fighter. And, uh, you know, Amir Khan went in there and won, won that fight easily. Uh, granted, Devin Alexander didn't do what he should have done, which was apply pressure, which is exactly what I said in the fight breakdown. Exactly what I said he needed to do. It was an easy game plan. But he did not execute it. Still, Amir Khan won that fight easily. So, the fact that he's reinvented himself, I would ask Adrian Broner to kind of pump his brakes a little bit. Allow yourself to get into a training camp and prepare for a fighter like Amir Khan, who uses his feet, um, circles around the ring, likes to fight you from a distance. And if you get too close, he'll push off on you. Mind you, Adrian Broner, he did move against John Molina. I don't think he'll move to where he's applying pressure against an Amir Khan. I think he'd still be stagnant in the middle of the ring. He'd move sometimes, but I think that Amir Khan would give him problems with his boxing ability from the outside, given the fact that Adrian Broner is so fucking stagnant with that dumbass wide stance I can't stand, or I can't stand. So, you know, it's a good fight. Wouldn't mind seeing it. Shit, if they can make this shit happen in May... Maybe on the Mayweather undercard. Amir Khan already said he's not trying to fight on the Mayweather undercard. He has a date of May 29th, I believe. Shit, if they can make that shit happen then, I'm down for that. What do y'all think? Do y'all think this is a good fight? Do you think Adrian Broner needs to pump his brakes a little bit, get into a training camp to prepare for a guy like Amir Khan? Let me know what y'all think. Do what you do in the comment section would be real. This is Real Talk for Real Fans. One.